Hey, my name is Chris, and to those of you who have Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition on PC, on PC, you may be worried about how to use the mouse and keyboard or your controller. And personally, I can use a controller. I can plug my PS3 controller in and it'll work, but I think that's an inferior experience because mouse and keyboard can work perfectly fine. And I've found a really comfortable solution that I'd like to share with you. So there are two fixes you really need to get before you even consider using the mouse and keyboard otherwise it's not an option at all so when you go and google for DS fix I'll put a link to this in my description and DS mouse fix as well DSM fix so I'll put these two links in the description for you and now the instructions on how to install them it's pretty simple you just download it and put it in your directory and I'll show you how to get to your game directory here. Go to Steam, go to Properties, and depending on which layout you use, you can still click, right click and go on Properties and stuff. So go down, go to your local files, and then browse to local files. Or you can just use this link here. <coughs> Excuse me. You want, you want to go into your data folder, and I've created a folder called Mods where I put these two files that I downloaded, and I dragged all the files from there into here and you will end up with dsfix.ini and this is what I have open here in my editor. You can just use notepad but because I'm a web developer I've used a bit some, something a bit more advanced. Now this these two values are what you really need to change. Um, they should default to this but if you've got a different resolution change your resolution to whatever it is. You can leave this the same and then roughly go through this and just tell you what you need to change really. I like to put the anti-aliasing up to 4 and I don't get any performance hits because I've got a really good computer but you may not so it's really up to you whether you change this or not. Um, it's up to you whether you change this or not. If you know something about the the, the um, technology then feel free to change these settings but it should be fine without. And you just keep scrolling down. All these settings should be absolutely fine. Um, you don't need to change this or anything. And uh, you get to enable HUD mode. I would advise not doing this because um, there's a couple of bugs with the the boss health bar uh, on the Turin bot the, the Turin yeah on the second boss. But if, if you really want to use it and you can, it's, it's the, the HUD's not too big even on 1080p. Now this is something you really do want to put on. Um, it's, it's one of my preferences, like borderless full screen, because it allows you to alt tab and the, the whole thing doesn't close, like it stays on your screen and you go to another monitor and stuff like that. Um, you don't want to disable your cursor, but you do want to capture your cursor in the screen, otherwise you can go off the screen like this onto my second monitor. Um, backups, like that, I've not noticed any problems with the backups, so it's, it's generally good to do that. I had two problems with backups, I had to force close and reload the game. Um, that, no, I mean, like I had two problems with my save games. I had to force close to make sure it didn't create a new save game over my old one because it couldn't detect it for some reason. So I just I turned this on after that happened, and I've not lost any saves so far. I just had to force close the game. And let's see, skip the intro. You probably want to do this because the intro is like a minute long. <laughs> and let's go down. This part is if you want to put the mouse fix in there. If you can use the controller, don't worry about that. But just you need to change this from non to DSM fix. And then what you need to do is uh, drag everything from this folder into your main directory. So you can see I've got DSM fix here in the main directory. And you don't really need to change anything else. So that's everything for the ini file. We don't need this anymore. And we'll go ahead and start the game because it's running in borderless mode. It'll start up. Uh, it'll draw a box around here for some reason. And then it'll go to full screen. There we go. Yeah, this is actually what I was talking about. This is good that if you hit cancel, it keeps doing this. So I'm going to need to force close this game. 
and just reload it. I guess I'm kind of lucky that happened so I could show you exactly what I was talking about. There we go. And no problems this time. So that's only happened maybe one in five times I've loaded the game. I'm not really sure what it's about, but... Uh, so before you install any of that stuff, which I should have told you, you just need to open the game up, turn these two settings off. Um, you wanna, probably want to turn full screen off before you do any of these changes as well. Um, and set your resolution to whatever when you, you come back into the game. So that's all you really need to do before you install the mods. Then you can come into your key settings and you can change all these. Uh, I'm going to roughly go through my settings. These are all default. Um, you can change the, this to shift but uh, I wouldn't advise it because you don't really use walk that much uh, especially not during the early game. Well, I've used it to creep up on people which you can do but uh, it's not especially useful and you can always hit control from the WASDA key positions. Now this is uh, something you probably never use. Uh, it's default map to IJKL, I'll show you. But let's change it to the number keys. Lock on um, is actually middle mouse button and I just changed it to tab because it's right next to the WASDA key keys. Um, then these you can really set it to whatever you want and whatever is comfortable for you, but I set it to ZXCW, which is right beneath, uh, and you won't really use these if you have a mouse, because uh, switch item is scrolled down on your mouse wheel, and switch magic is scrolled up, and that's really comfortable for me to use, like, and I have no problems using it. So you've got switch weapon, uh, and that's the, the X, that's the right one, and that's Z on the left, so it, it makes sense. Now these are the, the key ones you really want. This, these two, I just have mapped to 7 and 9 on the num key, uh, num key um, number pad, but I never use them because left mouse click is low, low attack and right click is heavy attack. Sadly you can't change the mouse settings, but the, the default ones actually work pretty well. Block is mouse 4 uh, and parry is mouse 5 but because not everyone will have um, a 5 uh, button mouse I actually have a 9 button mouse um, then you can use these keys and I've, I've had some success with these so F for block which is right next to D key and then shift for parry I actually use shift in the game because my finger rests on shift all the time so I'll use the mouse 4 to block and then I'll use shift to parry. I'll show you this all in game as well. Then use item which is heal basically. You can use this for your um, Estus flask all the time. And dash roll step is um, is actually jump and uh, roll as, as well. So action gesture is E because it's E in every other game. It's uh, pretty standard and then change between one-handed and two-handed, which is, I say it to Q, which is right above your WASDA. Uh, we're going to here, start menu, uh, you can do this as you want, I used to have it as M, um, but you can have it as escape or tab if you're not going to use that for lock-on. And like I said, the, uh, the lock-on, you can use the middle mouse button, and that works pretty well for me. And then gestures, I've, I don't really use this, but I set it to G, so still pretty close. All of these are default. Uh, I recommend taking the time to like see what these actually are because when you go into the menus you can use different keys so this is all set to insert, delete. I tried changing it to other stuff like uh, Y, U, I, O and P but I didn't really get used to it so I just changed it back. Alright so that's everything in the key settings. Go ahead and quit out of here. Uh, I'm going to load one of my games. Not that far through it really. Uh, I tried my first account here just to tr learn the game and then I got through it much quicker on on a bandit. Okay now before you get started one of the key things you're going to need to change is your other settings. Um, 
the, this options menu here and brightness are only available when you're actually in the game or when you create a character. So you go to your options here and you want to change your camera speed. This will depend on your mouse sensitivity. It starts out at 5 and this is the only way to change your mouse sensitivity. Uh, it, it basically imitates the, the, the mouse stick on your controller um, but you, you can't change your, like if you've got a, a razor mouse that has a button that will change the sensitivity for you then they won't work, you just need to change this number here. Um, I did forget to add this to the video so I'll edit it in now. Alright, so I have an area up here. This is a nice shortcut from the uh, the main area. I'm taking a bit of frame rate loss here, but uh, usually I'm running above 60 frames without recording. So, yeah, I'm getting maybe 30 frames here just because I'm recording. Come on, dragon. <laughs> So that gives you a nice amount of souls, like it's a good place to farm if you come to this area and you can unlock it. But uh, just a, a pro tip, seeing as I'm here, do not try and run across this bridge. It's suicidal. Um, now you may notice I have magics here. If I scroll up, it'll let me change to the magics, but I only have one achievement slot. Um, so I need to press Z to change my, to my talisman, and then I can block or parry with mouse 4 to heal and I press Z again to change back to my shield. Now I, I found that's incredibly useful because I can get through an area without using any Estus flasks and then when I get to the end boss I have all my Estus flasks ready to use instantly and I don't need to change, heal, change back. So let's get on to the combat system. I, I, it's incredibly important to uh, to actually learn what you're doing guys over here. Okay, I have this firehander and have it upgraded to plus two. I'll go ahead and show you my equipment. Oops, um, let's go down. I keep pressing delete to look at the information, but delete removes it. There we go, I can look at the information here, pressing delete. Equip it. Now I want to go ahead and let this guy over here. So I'm going to look at this guy, wait for him to come closer, and then use middle mouse button to lock on. Incredibly important. This is probably one of the key mechanics for the game. Um, see, I tried to parry there, but I was a little too late on it. So I'm using shift, left shift to parry. It's pretty easy to hit. Whoa, I forgot about this guy. Parry this guy. There we go. So left shift, immediately le left click afterwards to do a repost. Press Z. Block to heal. And then switch back. Now what you going to do there is a block, a uh, kick. Now, Th this is where the, the keyboard controls come in to, they bump into some problems because they don't really explain themselves too well it doesn't tell you how to play the game so you, you can press forward and you can press uh, left attack which is left mouse button but you need to press it at exactly the same time to do a, a, a kick like this so press forward and left mouse button forward, left mouse button You'll get used to it, just take some time to practice that. And if you press forward and right mouse button, you'll do the jumping attack like that. Uh, it's pretty useful, but um, I don't really use it that much. I usually stick to countering and stuff. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and make this guy attack me. Let's press and kick him. He's dead now. Uh, we'll go down here and, and demonstrate. I found the, the controls to be really, really comfortable with these key settings. 
Uh, you can obviously change some of the things uh, to your preference, but like Z and X, you change to your change your weapons and stuff. Um, you don't need to have your hands on wild stuff to change, so having them on Z and X is really comfortable for me. And mouse scroll wheel down, I forgot to mention, is to ch change your your items. So. Okay, so one final thing before we end the video. Um, something that most people don't know is that you can run. Uh, you do this by holding down the spacebar. And this is actually why uh, your spacebar, your dodge, has a bit of a delay on it because you even press spacebar and it takes about half a second. I would say it feels a little delayed to actually dodge. Yeah. So instead, you hold it down, you can run. And if you want to uh, to jump, you take hand off and then press space bar again. So that's something that I had to Google to find out, and I hope it'll be pretty useful to you if you're going to use the mouse and keyboard to play the game. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, some general advice I'll give is keep your, your humanity up and always retrieve your souls. But uh, I wouldn't use any humanity. I just farm the only uh, farm your humanity up from these monsters. One thing that you might need to know is how to uh, use the bow. I didn't quite understand it at first, but if I change my weapon to the bow, if I can remember how, press Q, which is the change to two-handed mode, and then block, you can go into the first-person mode. So then you left-click, you hold it down, let go, and you hit him. But uh, I don't have the dexterity for this bow yet, so unfortunately it's uh, I'm pretty gimped with it. <laughs> Doesn't do as much damage as it should. So I'll show you the uh, two-handed Zweihander. It's a pretty beast. Alright, well thank you very much for watching. Hope this has been really helpful for you. And for the people like me who like to play on PC uh, with PC controls, this will, will be a good fix for you. So thanks for watching. See you next time.